What's going on? I'm Sam and today I'm going to be finishing some of these interior walls on the school bus. But first I need to paint the ceiling. So I went and scuffed the whole ceiling with a scotch bright pad and then rolled on the first layer of tractor paint. A few hours later I came back and rolled on a second coat and then I waited till the next day to do the third coat. But by then the second coat had fully hardened and the paint was actually beating up on the painted surface and not sticking. Luckily, I was able to use a scotch Bright pad and scuff the paint with the wet paint on it, and that made the paint lay back down and adhere to the ceiling. I was afraid I was gonna have to wipe the whole third coat off with paper towels. I used the roller again to get rid of any streaks, and it ended up drying to a great finish. It looks a little bit like an orange peel, but that's just because the actual metal of the bus roof is shaped like an orange peel. So the paint went on super smooth. It kind of seems like most people in the schoolie community building these buses use wood for absolutely everything where they have wood floor, wood walls, and a wood ceiling. I obviously painted my ceiling white and I'm using the stock ceiling, but for the walls, I wanted kind of a finished drywall look without the weight or hassle of drywall. So I found these plywood panels. They're pretty high quality. They're really, really lightweight. But the problem I was having is the wood grain shows through once it's painted. I was getting kind of afraid because I had painted one of these panels with tractor paint and even after two coats you could still see the wood grain way more than I was expecting. So that had originally scared me. So I experimented with a Kills primer and using watered down drywall mud. So my test piece is dry. The drywall mud when mixed with water does a great job of hiding all the wood grain. But it is at least one extra step because after I mix this up and roll it on, I still have to add a primer before painting. So I think I'm going to go with the primer only. With one layer of the Kills primer, you can still see a little bit of the wood grain because it's a super absorbent material. But after that first coat seals it, the second coat hides the wood grain at least well enough that I don't notice. It also saves the weight of the drywall mud. So two coats of primer and this should be ready for paint while hiding all the wood grain. Before it was ready for paint though, I had the pleasure of going to every single panel and using wood filler to patch every single screw hole that's holding the panels on. This took quite a bit of time. I finished framing the wheel well where the refrigerator is going to go and then putting the insulation in there. I had to add the walls inside the bathroom and a couple panels in the rear of the bus. So I was just screwing in this piece of wood uh, to bring this face flush with the panels before I put the framing here uh, to bring this wall out. When I saw this guy and he scared the crud out of me. You guys had said I should bug bomb this place. I looked it up and looks like it does kill wasp larvae. So I'm really thinking about doing that. I was kind of not wanting to put the chemicals in the bus, but I know it's pretty safe, so I might have to bug bomb this bus. I then cut a hole for the medicine cabinet and made sure it would fit. As well as one for the bathroom outlet and making sure all the wiring was run for the bathroom before finally attaching that last wall panel. I ended up attaching the rest of the framing for these transition pieces between the wall and the ceiling that I was working on in the last video. Oh boy, did I run into a problem. I got the uh, framing done up here. I was thinking, oh no, will that fridge fit? I haven't measured in a while and sure enough, not only did the framing get in the way of the fridge, I had built this platform so high because I wanted all the insulation that I need to cut this much out of the roof to get the refrigerator to fit. I could lower this platform, but I really don't want to lose any of that insulation. I think I'm just going to go ahead and cut this. Yeah, here, I here it goes.
Honestly, I probably should have found a different way to fix that, but it's like 4 a.m. I want to go home and I had really wanted to fix that before I went home and not leave it till tomorrow. So it works. It's a solution. I don't know if it was the best solution. With the fridge situation figured out, I went back and I was able to finish patching all of these holes used to put up the panels. Some of these required two layers. But once they were all done, I was able to start applying primer. This felt great, and I want to get this all painted so that I can get the floor in next. I went around the whole truck applying this first coat of primer. It really didn't take that long, but as you can see, I'm not really hitting the edges. So I have to go back with a brush to get all the areas. And this is just for the first coat, let alone the second coat and the color. So this is where I'm at. I think it's looking really good. I haven't quite decided on the wall color yet. I kind of want to keep it white. It's a lot of white, but with the black and stainless appliances and the floor color that I picked out, I think it will work out. I haven't quite decided yet though. I'm going to go ahead and start cutting in to finish this first coat of primer, apply the second coat, then I'm going to paint the cabinets white and when all of this is white with the primer, I'm going to see how I think it looks. If I like it, I'm going to go ahead and paint the whole thing white. Anyway, that's all I got for today. I'm getting really far and feeling really good about this build. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Literally, you have learned that when I say that you're supposed to show up? Griffin, you are so smart. I love you. Or maybe you just want to go home and eat dinner. Who knows? Still smart. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wet paint. You got to get out. You got to get out. Good boy. Good boy, Griffin. That's so good.